if we'll you go inside if, the if, bank. if at all possible, just give us all the money you took out of there. Uh, just all of the money you took out of there. Y'all need to go. Man, look, come on. I'm just trying. Whoa, man. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome to First Person Defender. Why are you going for it? Where regular people come face to face with unknown attackers in real world scenarios and fight their way out. This is First Person Defender. Brian grew up hunting and he used to have a carry permit. When he moved out of state, he didn't get a new one. He has no real training with firearms or personal protection. Brian's work has him on the road much of the time. This force-on-force -force training uses real firearms converted to fire marking cartridges. The crew wears yellow shirts and are considered to be invisible to role players. Anyone who has used an ATM machine knows how vulnerable you can feel. Brian is told to take money out of the ATM and right off the bat, he runs into double trouble. Hurry up, man. Okay, hold on. Hurry up. I forgot my pen, okay? I'm sorry. Come on. It doesn't take that long. Thanks. Uh-huh. How you doing? Hey, man. Did you get it? actually get it to work? Yeah, it worked. Yeah, because actually, I, I just stood up there a second ago. Couldn't actually get anything out of it. Maybe it's out of money. I don't know. You might want to go inside the bank. No, no. I mean, I tried it a couple of times, but still couldn't get it to work. But you got it to work, right? Yeah, I got it to work. Man, you mind if I just have a couple dollars? Man, I, I, I don't this, look. I don't want all your money. I right. just just a couple of dollars. I couldn't get anything out. I'm thirsty. I'm right. just gonna go right over there to get something just, to drink. Just go back in the bank. They'll do it. Yeah. That's all. You give me a couple do. dollars. Come on, man. Just give me a couple of dollars. Look. It ain't worth that. Man. Give him the money. Whoa, man, whoa! whoa. whoa. Why'd you here, man, what you doing? You get, you put my money back and you get out. Man, here! Where you at, Kevin? It's okay, Help I me got out, you. Man. I got you. Come on, man. Help me out. Hey. Hey, I'm here. I'm, I got. I don't know why he's got a gun out still. Whoa, whoa, buddy! Get back! <laughs> you already proved you got the I money. Go. It. We just. I hey, see you shaking out. You I do. I love it. your truck. Man. My hands are in the air. How are you gonna explain that one? Give me the keys to your truck. Get back. Give, give me, you, keys give your me truck. keys. They're in the truck. All right, get in. All right, let's go. Index, index, index. Well, <laughs> tell me, tell me how that made you feel. Uh, that, that's pretty nerve-wracking event when you got two people trying to corner you up. Breathe, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> I can see you shaking. <laughs> breathe. Even though you know it's not real, it's it's real. <laughs> Well, when you what? got two people coming at you, you're trying to keep a idea of what's going on in both situations. It's, well, tell me how it all went down. Explain it to um, me in your eyes, from your eyes. From my eyes, I uh, had a disgruntled guy telling me to rush the ATM, which didn't help anyway. And then he wanted he wanted my money saying he couldn't get it out of there. Uh, I told him to get back and all that. Well, after that, he still pursued me. He had actually flashed a gun, knew that he meant business. Uh, as I felt like things were escalated, that's when I pulled mine, just so that at least I would have the front draw. And just told them to take the money. I don't want, I don't want anything. Just get back. How'd you get the opportunity to draw your gun? I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember? Uh, it was after he had flashed his. I think it might have been after I'd thrown the money and distracted him somewhat. You did. Uh, you don't but, remember that that much, uh, huh? Takes a second I, I, to come I back. remember trying to distract so that he's seeing something else, but I couldn't remember how long after I'd actually thrown it. You know, you, you get fogged when you're having two, two different uh, point of views you're having to watch. So it uh, uh, kept you from having tunnel vision on one person, right? Because you had to keep watching two. Right. 
So I, I, I firmly believe that if you could articulate that you thought you were, you were in imminent danger of serious bodily harm or death, I think that you probably could have shot the armed guy. I'm glad that you didn't, because I don't know that I would have. I think that you got lucky. They got into the truck and they were gonna leave. And uh, that was a great way for it to end. You did so much stuff right. You've probably heard of two to the body, one to the head, or the failure drill. Well, here's one that's a little different. It's the zipper drill. We've talked about it before on the show. But basically what you do is, as you start shooting at the body, you keep shooting as you work your way up to the head, and you can kind of see that pattern here. So let's shoot the zipper drill. Today we're using the Smith & Wesson SD9. It's a great value-priced gun, and it really runs. So we're gonna come out on target, and start from the body, and work our way up. The zipper drill. Start out slowly, work your way going a little faster. Don't get caught with your fly down. We've got two different bad guys here and you said this is kind of where he flashed his gun. When he flashes a gun is probably, probably the best time to draw and fire. Now what are you gonna do about him though? I don't know, because I don't know if he's armed. He never flashed anything. Now, if you draw on him and he continues to move forward, if he aggresses on you, that may be a time to shoot. Okay. This guy's going to triangulate you and go over there. Do we know if he's armed? We don't know. No, we don't. What, ha what might happen if you shoot him? He may draw on me. What else might happen? He may run away. Yeah, what do they likely do? Run away? Run away. Yeah, likely, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen. He flashes the gun, draw. Now, start moving. See what you're doing? Backing up. You're going to okay. lose sight of him. Okay. Where did I tell you to go? This way. This way. So start working your way around here. Tell him to get away from Get me. away. Get back. Don't make me shoot you. That kind of stuff. Okay. Keep moving. Get out of here. Okay. At some point, and this is something that I cannot teach you, I cannot tell you what to do, but at some point, when you're backed into that corner and you're triangulated by a guy that has a known threat, has a gun on him, and somebody else that we don't know if they have a gun, you've got to make the decision when and when not to shoot, okay? It worked out this time. Right. It worked out, and, and i tell you what, you just don't know what you're going to get. I cannot tell you to shoot. I cannot tell you not to shoot. Right. You have to be able to articulate the facts and circumstances. When he reaches for a gun, when his hands go near the, if his hands go from here down to there, even if he's just bending over, I don't know that he's not drawing, for, reaching for a gun. I don't know what he's doing. Right. That's on you. Okay. And that's for everybody watching needs to make that decision. First Person Defender brought to you by Ruger, Gundelio, Simunition and Smith and Wesson. So Brian's at the ATM machine. There's two unsavory characters milling about like they're waiting in line. All right, if that spidey sense kicks off, all right, every ATM machine, if you hit that cancel button, it spits your card back out. There's no reason you can't casually hit that ATM, that cancel button on the ATM, take your card out. What the f No balance? Mother f wife, you know, and storm off. Well, now you've got no money that they can rob you of. And now they're dealing with a f off dude. They may not want to go that way, all right? But if it doesn't work out that way, you get your money out, they start approaching you, draw that line in the sand. You've got to get firm. You got to be careful. It's a delicate situation because there's two of them and one of you. Don't stand there and argue with them. Start moving to your vehicle. Get firm. Get aggressive with them. If you see his buddy start to flank you, 
You don't need to be in the FBI to realize that that is a clue for something bad fixing to happen. The second his buddy starts walking offline and trying to flank you, get your gun to get the f back over there now. Don't f move. If this guy starts going to guns, you're gonna have to engage him. And track, get your hands up now. All right, watch his buddy, make sure he's down. You can get out your phone, call 911, and wait for the cops to arrive. But don't let them flank you. Don't let them get that advantage on you. You've got to control the terms of the fight. Here's a nice concealed carry package for you. The Springfield Armory XDM Compact 3.8 topped off with the XS Sights F8 Night Sights. Has a big old orange dot on the front, which I love. So let's talk about front sight focus. I was at a class and he said, are you focusing on your front sight? And the guy next to me said, yeah, I'm focusing on my front sight, front to me, right? No, no, front to the target. So that's what we want to concentrate on. So what that's going to look like is you get a hard focus on that front sight. The rear sight will be kind of a soft focus and the target will actually be a soft focus. So as you do that, you're gonna make accurate hits. And what you wanna do is practice this enough where it becomes second nature. When the gun comes up, the front sight is what's in focus for you. In the first scenario, Brian reacted slowly and let the situation go from bad to worse. Let's see how he handles it after getting some training. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. I had a lot of trouble with it a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy, did it work yeah. well for you? Yeah, it worked. Hey, I, I couldn't get it to work okay. for me. Well, you need, no. you need to step back, okay? I'm over here. Hey, hey, hey. come on, man. Y'all get back. It's working though, right? It's working. I Why got, are you yelling I, at me? Get back. I asked you about the ATM. Why are hey, you yelling at me? Because there's, come on, man. Like, seriously, we couldn't get it to work. If you, if we'll you, go inside I, if, if at all possible, just give us all the money you took out of there. I just all of the money you took out of there. Y'all need to go. Man, look, come on. I'm just trying. Whoa, man. Need to go. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> he shot at us, man. He's got a gun. You all right? You all right? 911. He shot me. I've just attempted robbery at the ATM. I've shot somebody. He's still up. Ah, oh, shot. Get down on the ground now. On the ground. Oh. Get on the ground. You, oh man. Drop the gun. Oh. Drop it. Oh man, you shot me. Why Drop you the shoot gun. Me? All right, index, index, index. What happened? Well, they approached me after uh, attempting to get money from the ATM. Again, they wanted my money. I saw this guy, he had his hand down. I told them they needed to get back. They didn't get back. I couldn't really see this guy's hands. Uh, so that's when I felt like it was worth presenting the firearm. He drew, so I fired two shots, I believe. And he came around the, the side of the vehicle while the other guy ran. I moved to allow better cover, but where I could still see him through the glass. Uh, when he came back around, he. I t ordered him down on the ground, but he still had his pistol. And there was one moment he kind of came like this, and that's when I fired, I think, two more <laughs> rounds at him. I did see that. I saw that. Now, when you first shot him the first time, you shot really quickly. Tell me what was in your mind when you shot at that moment. Well, he had his gun, so it was quick to get on him before he got on me. That's how I saw it. I saw it different, okay. but I wasn't there. I saw the gun in his hand when he came around the truck, but to you it looked like a draw. 
that's okay. your story. And what you saw is what you saw. And maybe as, as you go back through it and you watch camera video footage of it, you'll say, yeah, you know what? It already was in his hand. But does it make a difference? Does it mean you should change your story? Mm. You better not. You did what you did because of the threat you perceived. Okay. Now, when you came over here, I got one problem. You kept wanting to get closer and closer and closer. One guy already ran off, and you broke cover. <laughs> that guy had a gun, and you broke cover. I was trying to be able to see if he still had the gun. Does it matter? You know why I didn't have you shoot during the train up, right? Because you're the one that has to make the decision when you shoot. Right. I can't tell you what's a good shoot and what's a bad shoot because everybody's view and everybody's vision and angle on the situation is gonna be different, but you're the one. You're the one, brother, don't let him get you.